Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the second video of One Drug in 3 Minute series. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know the drill. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Today we are gonna learn all the important points about cephalosporins in just 3 minutes. So let's dive into it. Cephalosporins are divided into 4 generations. Now how will you identify which, cephalo, which drug belongs to which generation? Okay, it is very easy. Just stay with me and pay attention. In the fourth generation, whenever there is PI, PI is your code word. If there is a PI, it belongs to fourth generation. Okay, cefepime, cefepirum, both. How will you identify the third generation cephalosporines? Here you have to see ME1. ONE1 and TEN10 okay so ME1 and 10 these are the codes for third generation mnemonic here one exception is that which is cefuroxime it is also having ME okay cefuroxime is an exception here also ME is present but it is not third generation but it is second generation. So this you have to remember. Cefuroxam belongs to second generation. Coming to the first generation, they are having A after Ceph. Cephalexine, Cephadroxyl, Cephazoline, Cephalothin. Okay, except Cephachlor. Remember this. Cephachlor is also having A after Ceph, but it belongs to second generation. So these two are your exception, Cephuroxam and Cephachlor. Most cephalosporines are excreted via kidney through tubular secretion. Ceftriaxone and Cephoparazone are secreted in the bile. This is important. You need to memorize it. Okay, It is having 1 and 1, so it belongs to third generation. Act by inhibiting the cell wall synthesis just like penicillins. Antibacterial spectrum. First generation act against gram positive organisms. Second generation. This group of drugs are less active against gram positive organisms than first generation agents but has extended gram negative coverage. Third generation. These are active against gram negative organism resistant to the beta lactam antibiotics and this can also penetrate the blood brain barrier remember this they can penetrate blood brain barrier third generation and fourth generation they are same as third generation cefazoline these are some important drugs from the cephalosporine group okay which are particularly being asked cefazoline is drug of choice for surgical prophylaxis remember this Ceftazidime, ceftolozane, and cefoparazone are active against pseudomonas. This is also important, which are anti pseudomonal cephalosporine. So, this three are anti pseudomonal. Ceftriaxone is first choice for gonorrhea, E. coli, proteus, and hemophilus infection. Ceftriaxone has long plasma half life. Now, fifth generation cephalosporines, they are these are advanced, which are ceftaroline and ceftabiprol. It is having role in it, okay? Roline and role. So, they are fifth generation. And they are approved for treatment of community-acquired pneumonia and MRSA infection, that is methicillin-resistant staphylococcus aureus infection. Ceftobiprol is effective against MRSA and pseudomonas. Again, anti-pseudomonal, ceftobiprol. Toxicity, hypersensitivity reaction just like penicillins. There is cross reactivity between different cephalosporines and also 5 to 10 percent cross reactivity with penicillins. Ceftazidime causes neutropenia. So, guys, hope it was helpful. Please hit the thumbs up if you like the video and do share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.